In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a form builder called Formalu. Formalu is jam packed with form building features that require zero code at all. It seems they are offering a solution to a massive problem many business owners have had, which is creating a centralized area for forms. I'm going to take you through everything you need to know about Formalu. I'm going to show you a demo, give my thoughts on the way, and hopefully provide you with all the answers that you're going to want to know about this tool. If you have any questions go ahead and drop them below and whilst you're at it tap that like button i'll also leave a special url in the description which i'll keep updated so you will always have the best and latest discount for this product let's head over to my screen so i can start showing you about formula one last thing before we get started if you are looking for a youtube mentor someone to hold your hand whilst you learn how to make money on youtube i've just released my latest course and one-on-one -on -one mentoring called mmoalliance.com. This is a group of resources, courses, and hand-holding mentors like myself, where I will actually help you and answer your questions when you have them, as well as show you a legitimate method on how I earn money. But that's enough about MMO Alliance. Let's head over to Formula. When you first log into the dashboard, there's a few things that might catch your eye, but overall, it looks quite simplistic. You have a quick shortcut to all the templates, followed by your side navigation on the left top right is where you can upgrade invite friends and sort out your account details and under the template area you have your folders let's go ahead and start off with folders we click the create new folder title it you change the color and do create when you click on it this will show all the forms related in one folder by clicking this little plus sign opens up all of the other templates and if you want to have a proper browse go ahead and click all templates and it will show you by category like business education events etc all the different sorts of forms you can have now i'm not going to go through every single form because there's a lot here and let's face it time is money and no one's got the time to watch, sit through a video where i go through tons and tons of forms so i'm going to go with one of the most complex forms which is the order coffee form because this shows a good demonstration of most of the features you have two choices when you hover over a template you can do demo or pick demo shows you a demo of the actual form and on the right you can even see the responsiveness of it if you're happy with this form go ahead and click pick this template and now we're into the slightly more complicated area but once you get the gist of it it's really not that complicated in fact let me break it down on the left you have your drag and drop options this is what builds the forms then under edit field this will populate with further options when you click on an element to edit so an example of this is let's go ahead and click text and now you can fill this out accordingly above the form you have numerous options but let's go through each one quickly settings is where you can change the url of the form the category how long you want this form to be active any redirect links after they've completed the form if you are using apis and stuff like that you can actually send the data from this form to other places if you want to put a time limit on how if you want to put a cap on how many responses as well as payment functionality the settings area really does have quite a lot of options that you can mess around with under design you can state what sort of form it is or whether it's a multi-step a single step or a widget and each one changes all the settings you can customize things like the form titles and descriptions or if you want to show a progress bar and if you want to hide titles and stuff like that you can do ultimately this is where you change all the coloring and the backgrounds and even add your own images next you have the notification area if you want to receive notifications after every single response you would toggle this and then tell it where to send the emails under the calculator tab the first thing that will happen Happen is it opens up a new tab and then it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use everything so I'd highly recommend to do that however to be more specific about what this does if you are selling let's say coffee and you've got all the different types of coffee here like espresso for five dollars Americano seven dollars etc what it will do is it will automatically calculate the numbers you assign to each one so then when the person finishes ordering they can check out and it will do all of those calculations for the total amount that they owe you can also show an answer sheet after they finish paying which acts like a little bit of an invoice next you have the logic area now a lot of people struggle with the logic area i found in the past so let me make this really simple let's pretend you have a light switch which turns on a light bulb if the light switch is up 
turn the light bulb on. If the light switch is down, turn the light bulb off. This is no different to how the logic works. So in other words, to make it more specific to the forms, let's say you have a form selling coffee. Well, one of the questions might be, do you want milk? So if the user says yes, take them to the next option, which is what sort of milk? If the user ticks no, send them to the other option, which is would you like more sugar? And that is basically how the logic side works. You can set out a bit of a mind map to show you how it all links together. And if you go into advanced logic, you can add if else statements and then sub jump to submit or go to a specific link, depending on the criteria of their question. Under results is where all of the responses are shown. And what's nice is that it breaks it down into charts as well as each individual question that's been answered it will log that data so you can get an accurate decision of what's happening with each question under responses it will list everything and then you can export it into a google sheet document you can integrate with zapier which means that you can basically integrate with any third-party plugin you can share the link directly or embed it into a website turn it into a widget a script however you want just click one of the link and then you can customize it accordingly Finally, I've never seen this before in a form builder and I think it's a fantastic touch which is the presentation mode. If you are providing services to a company or a client for example, you could take you could copy this URL, paste it in here and it will act as a presentation. You can even configure the scripts so the end user can see the responses to each question or the data, which is super handy. Over here is where non-categorized forms will go, but because we created the MMO Alliance folder, that form is inside the MMO Alliance. Next, we have the CDP area, which is a little bit like a CRM area for all the forms. In this area, it will show you snapshots of what's been going on with all of the forms across the board and payments and new customers, etc. Then it will list any new customers here. You can create new campaigns. So whether they've been contacted via SMS or emails, you can add tags for better categorization. You can add your websites, like if you run an e-commerce store on WordPress using WooCommerce, you can add an integration in. And to do that, you click add source, put in the name of the details, and then press save. The map view acts as a map, like a little chart with colored bubbles and what's not, which will show you the amount of customers and things that are going on inside your forms. I actually really like Formaloo. They remind me of a form builder called Typeform but one of the issues with Typeform is they became crazy expensive and if you aren't the sort of person who needs tons and tons of functionality uh, or forms then you'll be burning your money using something like Typeform. Formaloo offers a extremely reasonable pricing point and they've got a ton of features that I would actually say challenges Typeform. They also offer a lot more customization, but the only downside is the interface is still a little clunky. I'm absolutely positive they are likely gonna keep on developing this to improve the design side of things. But overall, they've done a really good job of just simplifying and centralizing one of the biggest issues that I've, I've always had online, which is forms. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.